Hey guys, uh, just want to make a real quick video here for you. Uh, whether you're a hunter or just work outdoors or whatever, if you rely on your truck, you know, on the outdoors to get around, um, I want to show you something to be thinking about anytime you're crossing water, uh, especially if it's over a foot deep or so. A lot of guys don't think about this, especially on older trucks where it really can come into play. And uh, I'm just going to grab the camera now and, and take you outside. I'm going to show you a couple different things and what the causes are. But it could save you a lot of potential heartache and uh, trouble. So let's walk out here. Pardon all my junk. And this can uh, make or, well, can certainly ruin a day of hunting or working outside or just to uh, keep you from getting where you need to be. Here's my old 46 Lincoln. I know it looks like a junkyard around here, but. Anyway, this is a rear axle out of my, uh, it's a 1999 Ford F-350. This particular truck's a dually. Perfectly good rear end, except for the fact that water got into the gear oil. And uh, as a result, these spider gears have welded themselves to the axle. You can see right here, I've tried to uh, pull the axle out. It's a no-go. Well, anyway, see that hole right there? That is where that is where a, a breather hose is supposed to hook on, and they're just rubber. So now I'm going to take you over here to my son's '99 F350. We have a lot of these '99 through 2003. Ford Power Strokes. They're just the best truck ever built as far as I'm concerned. I've been through a lot of different trucks. I've tried Chevys and Dodges and none of them hold a candle to the old Fords for just toughness and reliability. This is my main truck here. It's a 2001. I bought that brand new um, special order. This is a 99. There's a one over there. I think that's a 2002. This one here is my son's. We're doing a complete frame up restoration. Came from Connecticut, so it's got some rust in it. <clears throat> but it's good to show you on this truck because it's beds off of it and it's stripped down right here. See? And this is a perfect example because this hose, this should be a hose that's cramped on here. And there's all you can all that's left of it is a uh, just a little piece that's on the nipple. Let me see if I can pull this off. Let me get this out of the way. Okay, so you can see it's just a little nipple there with some ribs on it. That is supposed to hold a piece of hose that comes up and probably attaches to the frame and then hangs back down. I hope you can see this. Let's go look under another, my other truck here and just see what it is. Hopefully it's intact. I haven't, I haven't checked my other trucks. I'll be honest, it's, well, let's check this one right here. It's closer. And it's got the spare tire on it, so I mean, I'll be able to see so well. And it's pretty dark. Okay, here's the hose. Oh no, that's a brake line. Here's the hose right here, right here by the shock. Okay, here's the hose, and that nipple I'm showing you. And you can see the hose goes up, attaches to the frame, and then just it terminates. If I can show this, see that that is a just a 90 degree plastic. A little breather um, that actually is more than 90 degrees. It really comes back on itself. I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's probably comes back at a 120 degree angle. And the whole idea is not let moisture get in there. So this one here is intact, and you want to make sure on all your trucks. 
this is intact on the front axle and rear axle. Because if, uh, if it's not, and you cross a stream, you can fill your axle with water or get some water mixed in with the gear oil, not even know it, and this thing will go for another month or two, or maybe even three. And then all of a sudden, you're driving down the road, and that's what happened to that rear axle over there I just showed you. You can be driving down the road, and uh, all of a sudden it just locks up. Axle just locks up like you slam on the brakes. But it can be dangerous. When it happened, he was towing a trailer, and uh, luckily there was nobody else on the highway near him. But it locked up the rear axle completely and threw him into sideways skid and almost jackknifed. So, highly recommend you check those little hoses. I know this is a little bit of a boring and probably not very good quality video, but that's one little tip I can give you guys that could save you a heck of a lot of trouble. And it's an expensive repair. I found that uh, the replacement axle for the truck uh, at a junkyard up in the Sacramento area. And it cost a couple thousand bucks to get it taken out and shipped down here. But the, I mean, the alternative to buy a new one from Ford is quite a bit more than that. I think it was six thousand or so. So I mean, it's not it's not a hard job to swap rear ends, but it's you know you lose a day plus the cost of the parts, and it's just uh, it's so easy to avoid it by making sure those hoses, breather lines are intact and in good shape. And also, uh, if you do go across streams and things in the course of hunting or fishing or work, make sure you service those axles. You don't have to service, wait 100,000 miles to service them. You can do it once a year. It's, it's definitely worthwhile. And I, I recommend, I use all synthetic uh, oils from Amsoil. I became an Amsoil oil dealer just so uh, I can get the, the product at a reasonable, at halfway reasonable price. It's expensive, but I really feel like it's worth the extra money because had that axle had Amsoil synthetic in it, it might still be going, believe it or not. And it might have made it to the next service interval, um, which would have been nice, but it's not the case. That truck, I bought it uh, just a uh, oh, few months before this problem happened, and I uh, hadn't serviced the axles yet. So, uh, and it's honestly, it's not something I service very often. It's once every 100,000 miles or so. But when I do the oil changes, I try to remember to... Um, pull the inspection plug if the, if the axle has one and just dip my finger in there and see if it's milky or not. Uh, definitely worthwhile. Alright guys, hope that helps. So hey guys, if you like the content on this channel, well, you might check out our other channel. It's uh, Father and Sons Investing. And it's all about uh, you know, encouraging your kids to think about their future and, and invest in the future. So check it out. Hope to see you there.